Hi, my name is Jana and I'm a theater artist and I have created a cranky that is a hand cranked theater uh, stage and I made a cranky about carbon. So come have a look with me. Carbon is an element. Carbon exists in the ground and in the air. The carbon that is in the air is bonded with two oxygens. Traditionally, originally, there was a beautiful balance between the carbon that was in the ground and the carbon that was in the air. A perfect cycle, a system, a balanced system. Let's look at a way in which this system works. So let's look at a tree. In order for a tree to grow, it practices photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, the carbon that is in the air gets absorbed in the, to the leaves of the tree. And the two oxygens that were bonded to this carbon, they fly back up into the air. And the tree absorbs the carbon to grow. Every living thing has carbon in it. Plants, animals, and humans. And when these living things perish, when they die and go back into the ground, that carbon that was in those living things go, goes back into the ground with them. Now let's go back millions of years to the age of the dinosaurs. In that age, there were grand swamps and volcanoes. In that age, dinosaurs inhabited our planet. And when that world perished and died, all those dinosaurs and the swamps all went back into the ground and made a layer there. All that carbon from those swamps and the dinosaurs went into this layer in the ground and got compressed there. And over hundreds, thousands, millions of years, more and more layers developed on top of it, evolved, further compressing down that original layer that we were just talking about. While up on our planet, the animal kingdom evolved. Humans evolved. Civilizations grew. And humanity pressed onward with its evolution. While all this time, that layer of dinosaurs and swamps was further and further compressed down. And humanity charged forward. Slowly, technology evolved. 
industry evolved. And we come to the age of the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s. During this time, humans figured out how to dig into the ground and extract that layer of carbon that we know from the era of the dinosaurs. Humans figured out how to extract this carbon from the ground in the form of coal and in the form of oil. And humans figured out how to make fuel out of this substance. And to this day, we fuel our homes, our cars, and our factories and our airplanes with this fuel. And as we are heating our homes and running our cars and running our factories, we are blowing that carbon that was in the ground into the air. Over the last 150, 170 years, some humans figured out how to make tremendous amounts of money selling oil. Here are some coal barons in the 1800s. Here is Rex Tillerson, CEO of Exxon. We are consuming tremendous amounts of this fuel in the form of gasoline, diesel, heating, oil, and jet fuel. We consume it by the barrels. In fact, in the United States, we consume 20.5 million barrels of petroleum product each day. And each barrel has 42 gallons in it. So, as we are powering our industrial world, we are blowing this carbon into the air. And that, in combination with cutting down a lot of trees, too many trees, cutting down whole rainforests, and in combination with practicing bad farm practices, we have messed up the cycle of carbon that's in the air and carbon that's in the ground. We have upset a system. We have messed up this balance. Now, way too much carbon is going into the air. It is rising into the atmosphere and collecting there in a thick layer. This carbon in our atmosphere is creating a blanket around our planet that works like an insulating blanket. Sunlight can pass into it, but it can't get back out. So the atmosphere around our planet is heating up. And as a result, our ice caps are melting, causing the oceans to rise and causing floods in other parts of the world, it is causing the planet to be very dry, the land to be dry, too dry. It's, the land is burning up. Wildfires. Our planet, our Mother Earth, she is too hot. Our Mother Earth, she has a fever. And when you have a friend who is sick, not well, or needs your help, you have to go and stand by that friend. So 
let us all stand together and work really hard to restore our beautiful planet, our Mother Earth. Bye.